Welcome back to Football Mundial, where I am back in the chair once again after yet another research trip on the continent. You've got to stop, mate. You're leaving too much. I, I am. I am. I am stopping. God. I'm Today, stopping though, now. we have managerial madness in Spain, yes. penalty mayhem in Russia, and a potential match of the century in South Oof. America. Keep your eyes on the screen. Yes. We begin with my favourite man ever to walk the earth. No, not my dad. Zinedine Zidane, as his agent has spilled some beans on his possible future movements. England, please. I highly doubt that. But anyway, despite talk of him succeeding Mourinho at Man United, hitting new levels on the weekend, he revealed that the former France legend was unlikely to work in England oh. anytime soon and won't disrupt his sabbatical year by taking a job at short notice. Fair play to him, classy man. But when he was asked about the possibility of him joining Juventus, he actually seemed more positive, citing the club as an attractive prospect due to Zan's history in Turin. Ooh, but what do you think of these claims? Is there anything to them or is he just stirring away at the pot? Let us know in the comments below. For Out of Our League this week, we're doing a South American Ooh. special, yes. And instead of looking at a domestic league, we're focusing on the Copa Libertadores, which could go down in history as one of the best ever. A bit of PVS vibes there in, mm, that, in yeah, the roll of the R. That's because after last week's quarterfinal result, only River Plate, Boca Juniors, Gremio and Palmaras remain in the competition. Yeah. Nearly there, Palmeiras, mate. Oh. But oh well. So the winner of South America's answers to the Champions League will either be a Brazilian or an Argentinian giant, while Palmeiras are in with the chance of a first final in 18 Good years. Good luck to them. Mm. But what makes the latter stages of this year's tournament particularly enticing is the fact that River and Boca will not be playing each other in the semis, meaning we could have a first ever Super Classico final. Wow. History in the making here. Widely considered to be up there with Barca Madrid, Argentina's biggest derby has never been played out on the biggest stage. And if it happened this year, it would be particularly special as from 2019, the final will be contested at a neutral venue. Oh God, so it the has two to legs. happen. And River Plate fans will be particularly relishing the tie as they beat Boca just a couple weeks back and have now gone 32 games unbeaten in all competitions. Their best run in their 117 year history. Ooh, Not bad. Hitting form right at the right, right at the right time, just at the right time. But anyway, what do you think Copa Libertadores fans? Let us know down below. And which league should we look at next week? Let us know with the hashtag out of your league. Over to Mother Russia now. Good God. We're <laughs> one of the best penalties you'll ever see was scored this weekend. I, 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 I regret writing that in the script now. But you anyway, Riyad Mahrez, take notes because this effort will be getting replays for years to come. Take a look at this. If you're wondering who had the audacity to pull that off, it's Norik Avadalia, who plays as a striker for Ruben Kazan's under-21 side. Yes, and get this, amazingly, it isn't the first time the Russian has attempted the trick. He pulled it off last year in an unofficial tournament and obviously left, left his teammates and his coach speechless. Not surprised, yeah. but now 22, it's unlikely Avadalia will ever make the big time, but he's carved out his very own place in penalty taking history. Well done, mate, well done. We head back to Argentina now, as Buenos Aires is laying host to the 2018 edition of the Youth Olympics this month. Not Aires. No, nah, I don't see. Oh, there you go. That's what we do every day. Yeah. And the guests of honour at this year's event were none other than the Wild Boars, the Thai youth team who were miraculously rescued from a flooded cave back in July. Yes, the entire team and their coach made it out to Argentina and were invited to take on River Plate's under-13s at the iconic Estadio oh, Monumental. They smashed this. On the day, the Wild Boars were given a guard of honour by their opponents and they managed to hold them to a 3-3 draw. Not bad at all considering the gap in quality between Thailand and Argentina. Yeah, I'm with you on that for sure. After the game, the head of the Thai delegation said the team owed something back to the world after people had come from all over to participate in the rescue. Oh. And they put on a good show to match. Lovely stuff. What a heartwarming that's, story. That's amazing. Man. Now, it hasn't been a great start to the season for a few of Europe's biggest clubs, especially Man United. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> and after their loss to Alaves on the weekend, alarm bells are ringing very loudly at Real Madrid. They are indeed. Reports emerged as early as Sunday with inside sources claiming that manager Julian Lopetegui could be sacked this week. 
with some suggesting they are lining up either Antonio Conte or assistant coach Guti as his replacement. Others have claimed though that the club will wait until the outcome of El Clasico at the end of the month before making a definitive decision. Hmm. But either way, it has been a torrid few months for the coach who left the Spain post in disgrace before the World Cup. He even cried. Yeah, absolute nightmare for the coach. Lopetegui is set for crunch talks with the Real hierarchy this week, but do you think he should be sacked? Let us know in the poll. Personally, I think it would be harsh. We end as always with one to watch and thanks to the Reaper's suggestion. Yes, that's right, it is Halloween month. We're having a look at Hertha Berlin's Andre Duda. <laughs> the 23-year-old Slovakian has had a storming start to the Bundesliga season, whacking in five goals in seven games from attacking midfield Fantastic. and helping Hertha to climb to fifth in the table above Bayern Munich. Yes, and he has personally helped pile the misery on Bayern himself, scoring in his side's 2-0 victory over the Bavarians last month. Lovely. He's only behind Paco Alcazar in the scoring charts and is averaging a strike every 123 minutes, a better rate than Harry Kane has managed so far in the PL. Nice. And it's been a long time coming for Duda, who despite his age has played relatively little top-level football. He moved to Berlin in 2016, but due to recurring injuries, made just 20 appearances in two seasons before this campaign. Sounds like a beast has finally been awoken, mm. with a free kick specialist already earning the nickname Dudinio. Good God. What but a name. Love what name. player shall we cover next week? Let us know with the hashtag one to watch in the comments below. So that's the end of Football Mundial for yet another week. Now, guys, people watching at home, go to Instagram and go check out FDFC because guess what, Michael? Yes. We're what? playing a football match. Woo! Unprecedented yeah. scenes. But what else should they do in the meantime whilst they're waiting uh, for that? They should go over to FTFC's YouTube page as well. We've had two personal masterminds come out this weekend. Uh, and also, if you haven't seen it already, the hashtag vlog. Uh, yeah, love that. It's great. I was on that, so go and see that. Uh, also, go and check out Stat Wars The League because that is hotting up nicely. And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next week. Have a nice week. Bye. Okay, it's the hashtag once. Just hashtag Hashtags it. Yeah, I just had to Such a it, sellout. Yeah. But we, we've yeah. done that before though. Yeah, but this time I'll call you out on it. <laughs>